My name is Azim Beg and you are watching a Z Tech English YouTube channel. In this new series of videos that I have started in which I am sharing the circuit diagram of an ultrasonic welding generator with you. Here is the DC circuit is shown here. As you see there are three parts of the circuit diagram out of which the part that you are looking at here is the DC circuit and it is the high voltage DC which converts the 220 volt supply to DC voltage through a bridge circuit and capacitor. And 220 volts is increased to 350 volts. And here you can see that this transformer is a 220 volt to 12 volt transformer which means it is taking 220 volt and giving 12 volt output. The output of this transformer is rectified inside a bridge rectifier and filtered through a capacitor. 12 volts is put in these and this is common and it is connected to the negative and this is the common negative and this is the output which is the 12 volt regulated output which is it goes to this pin here which is also filtered here and this is the output which is the positive volt which is the 12 volts positive which is entered into our circuit and inside the triple 5 IC. Along with the triple 5 IC, this is 12 volts which is also entered inside the relay and from here along with the relay a resistance is given to the LED through a resistance of 4.7K and the other side of the LED is connected from the triple 5 IC output pin. And from here we have given it a ground that means we have given a minus signal which we have from triple 5 IC. Coming from pin number 3 which is the output pin connected to this function of this LED with the cathode of the red LED is ground here so the situation is that as long as the negative is present on this pin then the positive coming from the top turns on the green LED and as soon as it is triple 5 IC which is the triggered from the signal coming from here or the signal coming from here both these diodes which in both frequency matching and ampere cases it activates the transistor which triggers the pin number 2. As soon as pin number 2 is triggered, the negative voltage at the output is converted to positive voltage and when the positive voltage comes here, as the positive voltage comes here, the red LED turns on. Because the red LED whose cathode terminal is connected to the ground, the voltage starts to flow through it. And at the same time, the LED on the outside of the generator also turns on. The relay turns off. And the biasing of the transistors is shorted so the frequency stops. The output which is the LED outside is also turned on. This transistor here is a Darlington transistor which has two transistors inside and they are connected in such a way that more amperage and more sensitivity are obtained. When it is triggered then the negative voltage coming from the IC reaches the relay. Since the other side of the relay is connected to the positive, the relay turns on. And the two points of the relay turn off and the generator turns on. The triple 5 IC installed in the generator's main function is to control the over frequency and over amperage conditions which are input through these two diodes and they come to this transistor. It resets itself through the network of resistance and capacitors which is installed in it and the ground which is pin number 3 on it gives a negative signal which means that it stays connected with the ground here we have negative it is connected with negative but as soon as it is triggered its negative voltage which is changed to positive voltage and here the it can handle a load of around 200 milliampere easily and that's why it can also operate the relay this relay is connected here it's operated by this IC and as long as this relay is on, the generator is running, and as soon as this positive voltage comes here, this relay is closed and the generator is also closed, so this is the function of this triple phase IC that's in it, so I hope you understand everything and I'm going to explain in more detail. I will show you all these things, especially the function of triple 5 IC. For that, I'm making a board through which I will explain this to you practically. I hope you get a lot of information from this video. Thank you very much for watching the video. See you in the next video.